Hello and welcome to uh, Tawani's Pilgrimage. Today we are uh, gonna go to Shard's Landing, uh, but first I want to cover a few things. Uh, so I've made a decision <laughs> that we are not gonna waste our time trying to do the next mission. Uh, I did some research on it and it seems to be fairly difficult for uh, a normal group, <laughs> let alone a group. Uh, with three boxes so what we're gonna do is we're gonna get to level 100 and then we're gonna go back and uh, try the mission uh we barely beat the last one uh only reason we beat that is because it like didn't respawn mobs uh so going forward we're gonna work on uh getting to 100 and then we're gonna work on getting uh the mission so let me pull this up here I was kind of doing some research here. Um, so we're going to finish uh, Mercenary of Shard's Landing. Uh, we're going to then do Mercenary of Eastern Wastes. And then Mercenary of Crystal Caverns and Partisan of Crystal Caverns. And based on like some of the experience, we should be pretty close to 100 by the time we get there. Uh, if not, we're going to go ahead and do the Pars Partisan and Mercenary of Kale. And that'll be all of the tier one zones for this. Uh, once we get 100, we'll go back and try some of these missions and give them a shot and see if we can get them. If we can, we can. If we can't, we can't. And, you know, that is what it is. But, uh, and then we're going to jump into uh, the Broken Mirror, which is, uh, I think it's Call Forsaken or the Darkened Sea. One of these uh, increased the level cap to 105. So we're going to get 105 in either Darkened Sea or Broken Mirror. Probably Broken Mirror because it's going to be uh, scalable. So we'll try that maybe. Uh, we'll see. Uh, and then we'll get work our way into Empires of Kunark and stuff like that. My goal is to get 120, get focused on uh, gear and all that stuff and get it all built out. But let's go ahead and head over to Shard's Landing. All right, we're here in Shard's Landing, so we're gonna go ahead. Uh, at some point, I grabbed all these mercenary quests. They're all hunting quests from uh, the Master Hunter, wherever she's at. Uh, somewhere over there, there, right there. She gives all these quests. So, that I also made new uh, weapons. Uh, I saw that I could make these with uh, two <laughs> Eternal Essence and a leather scrap, and they're uh, slight upgrades to what I had, but. Uh, they are pretty nice so we did get a little weapon upgrade and i bought uh the shaman her tier one reign of fear gear for everything but i think breastplate arms and yeah breastplate and arms so kind of trying to get them a little bit more geared because we're just getting smashed here but so the first thing is first we need to go kill some of these things so this one is the one i was working on last time i was in the zone uh what pests are made of these this is uh right over here so we're gonna head over there and start knocking that out. All right, we're over here. So this Devour is gonna be the first one we kill, but we need to turn on our uh, mercenaries here. Uh, balance, actually, you're gonna go burn and you're gonna go reactive. So we are buffed with uh, all the goodies you can get from <laughs> uh, Guild Hall. So hopefully uh, we do well here but i'm like one kill away from 98 and the other two hit 97 at the end of that last mission uh, i just i have sound off on them so i didn't even notice it until uh slightly uh, a little while after go i didn't even ding us that's so such terrible experience for these but we need to kill uh five of these so two more and then we need to kill two more of the awesome so whatever those possum looking mobs are i will kill two of those and then uh pretty much a lot of different things here so the scarabs and stuff those are right next door so we might do that one next i'm almost done with it those were relatively weak but we're gonna start knocking out these uh, mercenary quests because these are actually worth uh a little bit of effort right here's the mercenary of the other zone it's 10 AA and 3% of a level just for doing it. And I'm sure some of these are worth something. There we go. We leveled up and we got a a rare drop. Uh, a shaman hat. So I'm going to send that over to Ketka. 
see if that is a an upgrade for her. And it's not. I bought her the uh, the gear, so we can sell that at some point. But uh, yeah, so it's gonna be. I don't know. These might be a slightly uh, slightly boring uh, for the next uh, few, right? Because we're gonna be doing two two episodes of mercenaries. I'm gonna try to do all of these and all of this quest in uh, one uh, video. So it's gonna be a little longer. Some of the other ones are a little shorter, so it kind of balances out. And then we're going to, uh, I think, Crystal Cra Caverns. Those three quests there, that'll unlock that mission. And then the three quests in Kale. So overall, I think it's gonna be a uh, a better way to do it. I think trying to struggle through these at, you know, whatever level ninety seven, <laughs> it was uh, gonna be difficult anyway. So. And I uh, forgot to look to see if we got anything new when we did that. So let's see. These are all improvements. Improvements. So we didn't get anything new. We just got improvements all we had. So that just makes us a little tougher. Uh, that should have given us a some new spells. So we got uh, Reflex. And let's see. What is Reflex replacing? That has, no, that has a timer 10. Places flinch. Do I even have flinch on my bar? It's defensive, so let's go ahead and put that uh, right there. I don't know why six step pattern is right there anyway. Alright, we're gonna grab uh, whatever this one was Echo. Uh, this one replaces this Echo, so now we can pull again. And Tome of the Ice Storm. Tome of the Ice Storm adds 340 damage to all attacks in addition to boosting damage done by all your melee attacks. This is two minute duration, seven minute reuse, 18 minute or er, 18 timer. Uh, this is uh, on the same timer as Void Step. Swift reflexes, so it's right. Same timer as swift reflexes, so let's just put it uh, right there. I'll have to get that into a macro at some point. All right, I've got a collectible. Let's grab this guy. All right, a twofer. All right, that is that one. And I did upgrade the uh, shaman and the bard spells uh, to whatever. Whatever they were missing wasn't really much on this thing. Uh, I think the shaman got fatigue, which is a uh, the new sloth. So not exactly uh, something worth you know caring about, but uh, it is what it is. So we need one more awesome and one more devour. There we go. That one's done. So we need a devour, and they spawn in these little side areas. So we should be able to find one. Order, pest, scarab. Uh, those are things we need to kill, so let's go ahead and grab two of those. I'm not even bother mezzing. Not mezzing, but uh, lolling. Alright. Bend, and perfect. Get uh, her positioned correctly. Guess she is still not close enough to fight that thing. There we go. And get her singing. There we go. Perfect. But uh, I, yeah, I, I just, just, I decided I want to like doing the quests in Reign of Fear aren't gonna really help us long term. Call Forsaken forward, it does help us, and any quest we do in the Call Forsaken is actually a quest worth doing. Uh, mostly the challenges, and we, that's probably what we're going to wait on quest, like doing hard questing in this, because the challenges in the Call Forsaken, the conquest here, these are what lead to what we're, the, the reward, right? So it's not that one. Is it this one? Yeah. 
So the AA Hero Vitality Fortitude Resolution, these are what is like we is absolutely needed at like the higher end, and these are all through conquest achievements that are pretty much uh, don't die doing the mission, you know, kill everything, kill extra stuff, you know, things like that that are in these missions. So it's going to be like uh easier to do that at 120 and just plow through it than it is to try and do it on this character now so that's kind of my thought process on that so beyond the the absolute minimum required to level to 120 uh we're gonna try to skip a lot of stuff I know at uh, Torment of Velos and beyond, we're gonna have to be doing, we're gonna have to be doing probably most of the missions anyway. So we're gonna be doing all of the uh, partisan mercenary, and I don't think we'll be able to do the group missions, honestly. Uh, at least until I can get, you know, Tawani raid geared and the Bard raid geared with. Uh, at least TOL raid gear, which is better than the group gear, but we'll see. <laughs> we'll see what I can get a hold of and stuff like that, but I'm I'm skeptical at this point. Um I think these were what we were looking killing, right? Kanyu. I think these are the scarabs and Pests. Double check that here in a second. I'm not even gonna mess it. There we go. Come on. 13, yeah. So these are definitely what counts for that. So lots of mobs to kill. Stuff like that. So just gonna be a little bit of a longer episode as we uh, do this. I guess it'll give a little bit more uh, how I play these characters because I. Those are, uh, I get a lot of questions on how certain things play out. Where are those other ones? Let's check. There's a lot of mobs here, but they're not aggressive, which is nice. I didn't realize that early on. So, uh, pests, quick shells, more scarabs right here. Let's go ahead and get these. Uh, the mercenary should have like the uh, cinder coat damage shield from, I guess, a 120 mage, so they should be able to like tank everything and add to the damage. So it just makes things easier. Uh, it was, the mission got pretty hard when we lost all the buffs, uh, and the buffs are really carrying us. Something that you know, this is the whole series with Twani, right? We've we've gone to be okay, we've gotten buffs, and we've been carried. So. That is something, uh, you know, it is, it's, you know, it's, it's a data point, right? <laughs> like, there we go. Uh, I'm going to try echoing or shading that one because we just need one. I don't want to waste my time with two that I don't need to kill. There we go. And this will knock out what pests are made of, theoretically. else do we need to do I think there's a few more in this general area with four more uh, scarabs so we'll try to get those knocked out so there we go so this gave us hardly any experience for doing but it did uh, it, it counts for the achievement right so that's like the only reason to do it not experience okay so let's go over here I think there's an easier pull scarab right here. There we go. Go ahead and claim this on them so the window goes away. But at some point we will be switching to two-hander and I think that'll make us a little bit more uh, tanky. I think anyway, uh, we'll be getting repost uh, less 
and I think it does more damage. Everything I've read seems that at some point, I don't know what that point is, uh, all the high-end monks switch to two-handers versus hand-to-hand. -hand. Uh, and I do have, ooh, that is a menagerie of mobs right there. And I do have some good two-handers that I can switch switch to the higher levels that I've collected over the years on all my characters. So definitely uh, we'll be able to switch to those as soon as possible. But uh, I'm really, I really want to get to the high end game. That's uh, really where this is all going to cul culminate to, right? <laughs> And the I'm I'm gonna have to get better with the necromancer because I'm getting even on the, the mess around you know anniversary quests I get a lot of <laughs> comments on things I do and uh, definitely gonna have to work on that at some point so I don't know if I'll I'm so I was thinking you know like I have. The 120 necromancer what if i reboot voxel and do him as a solo necromancer series i've been thinking about this one for a while and i go through it all again and i don't do i'm not gonna waste my time with uh, uh the, what you call it uh hero's journey but i think uh just going through and doing all the uh, all the leveling and playing of a necromancer again might be pretty fun and do it as an xr this time because that was one of the biggest things i got when i first started the nomagard series was you know you're not playing a necro or xr you're, you're wrong or something like that it's just pretty crazy how uh it was and then we were playing that one necromancer on uh, the emulated server and when I stopped doing all the emulated stuff, I gave that series up. So it'd be kind of continuation of that, I think. There we go. I think it'd be pretty fun. I'd probably do it on Corona Vi, unless uh, this new TLP gets the rule set to change. I think this will. This, this video should come out before the new TLP, so. Uh, hopefully, uh, hopefully they change that, the rule set that they had going on there to something a little bit more, uh, accepted. I think, uh, anything short of free trade is gonna have a lot of negative con, you know, conflicts, but I don't know. I think it'd be fun, but I wouldn't be able to start as an XR though, so that's unfortunate. Which, which is something they, I think they should do. I mean, put all the races in and remove all the restrictions, right? Barbarian monk, you know, whatever it is. Just let it be and let it happen. Make it a fun server. Free trade. Put random loot on it. Just make it completely, just totally obscene when it comes to that kind of stuff. I think that would be pretty fun. I really wish I would have tried... Uh, mischief when it came out more serious than i did when it uh when it started i think i was uh, i was doing the gnome regard series at the time and it was i don't know i was just like something about it like right off like it was like a, it was supposed to be true box but it, like i saw all these like massive amounts of boxing characters running around and it didn't even make sense at the time because i was I think I was still fresh at playing uh, TOP stuff, and it didn't make sense to me at t the time what was going on. But now I have a, a way better understanding of all that, and I, I do have the ability to multi-box, true box now, without uh, having to worry about it. Okay, what do we need here? We need five more Ivy scales and eight more slate scales there we go uh greater slate scale i think that is a named placeholder Let's see if we can just grab this guy what happens these are blue now so these are the mobs i use when i do the uh, heroic level 100 uh 
Guys, these are the mobs I use, and these are level 97 mobs, but they're not that hard. <laughs> and some of the uh, heroic characters, the way I'm playing them, have a little bit of difficulty with them, but... Like, I'm not, I'm not on the monk. I can't remember if I've done monk yet. On that, but... Maybe I did. But I'm... I, it's just... Surprising. <laughs> like, you can come here at 95 and see that these are like... Kind of like the mobs you would fight at 95. But the, uh... The heroic characters start here too. Experience is absolutely terrible for these. Look at this. I'm like, I even have a bottle of adventure on. I'm getting 0.19. I mean, really? I mean, why? it's just not, not good grinding experience at all. And I've, I've like, I've been running through the zone quite a bit. Down here, there's like bots that just like auto farm that stuff down there for some reason. I don't even know why. I have no idea why. And uh, I've seen guys like over here botting, uh, just automated people running around killing all that stuff. I have no idea why I haven't figured it out yet. There's nothing here that's like, I must loot this that I've found. But, yeah, I'm thinking about doing the missions again uh, for this zone just to kind of get a little bit more loot, but. I don't know. It's one of those things. It's just like, is it worth my effort? There we go. See if there's anything. Harbinger Glass. I think the names will still be read to her. Hopefully. So what do we add here? Or two more of those. Let's get. Let's get this guy. Kind of hard to see them in the bush here. Right. Let me see. So we'll get these. So six more plus two more, eight more snakes, and we can move on to the next mob. Corruption's end. I don't know where that's at. Oh, it's down here. So we gotta go kill random mobs down there. So that won't be that hard. There's in the slate scale. Wow, these sold a pull now. So nice. Emissary of Shadow. Are you a named? I don't see it on the list here. All right, let's get this greater skate scale here. But definitely this is a much more relaxed experience than uh, all that running around we were doing in the Eastern ways. Like, I don't even think I've looked at my health this whole entire time. The buffs really carry us. Right, another one. So we need. Well, we only need one of these, but I'll take it. And the the mission that I'm avoiding, right, killing that dragon. Uh, that's the mission, right? Uh, we need we need a charm ability <laughs> too. So uh, the bard. I think it's like one more level, and the bard gets the charm to actually charm the stuff. So that'll. Uh, That'll actually help because there's certain mobs you can charm and it'll instead of like making them your pet It will make them attack the other side so you can charm all these uh, I think they're soldiers From what I read on Alakazam you charm those and they go attack the other side so you just like you fight less mobs But uh, I don't know There we go Another greater scale let's just get him I think these are all placeholders for uh, Bane scale. I think that's how it works. There we go, and these things are just melting. All 
right. Um, what do we got here? Two, two graders. Let's get them. I don't believe they count for the slate scale, so might as well just kill them all. There we go. Let's see if I can get Sham in here to do some work. Nope, not gonna happen. Let's see if I can get the bard in the right position. And the bard's still using weapons from House of Fools, so uh, we really need to rectify that too, but I couldn't find anything craftable that uh, seemed useful. Alright, we killed all the snakes. <laughs> Good job. Uh, there's probably some more up here, right? Down this way. We'll have to keep a look on uh, track. Or, uh, that's an ivy, that's an ivy, that's an ivy. That's an ivy. God, what are these things con? Can I, like, run past them? Yeah. Ivy, ivy. Slate scale, there we go. There we go. Check something real quick. There we go. So another thing I haven't been using is the root on the shaman at all. I'm just so lazy. Like, uh, when it comes to uh, using everybody's abilities. Alright, two more of those guys, and we're done. There's a slate scale. Come on down. Even con at 98, but uh, absolutely terrible experience. Uh, I get point two on uh, on the bard, who's a level lower. So I guess it's not absolutely terrible, but it's not ideal. I feel like it's I feel like it's really low. I don't know. They packed a lot of the experience inside the missions and completing those and the achievements related to all that stuff, so. But I think at the time, the level cap was 100. So, if we go back up here, right? Uh, conquest? One of these has, uh, I think it's no, not that one. There we go. We finished the snakes and snakes. Let's go and accept that on everybody real quick. It's beetles on her too. 0.5 experience. All right. So what do we need now? Where are we at? We are right here. We need to get, what can we get from these crags? So we got to kill 20 crags or 20 something over here these are dubious so gives us a little room to move around here all right let's just grab this one i think he's what we need to kill we'll see here in a second if any of these go up i don't know if they're kangan or not Oh wait, okay, here we go. Harvest the bones of the worm tooth. That's the one we're on. So let's just kind of pick these off one by one. We only got to kill 10 of these, but uh, they're not too bad. Relatively speaking, right? I think our armor class is getting pretty high. This, like these uh, quests also uh, give a chance for a trophy, uh, something we haven't gotten yet from any of these quests. The trophies are actually pretty good. <laughs> like, 
I don't know if they get replaced later on, but if we look at, I think it's conquest, no, it's quest, right? So lesser and then champion? No, maybe it's conquest. Let's see here, this one. No, that gives the helmet, savior. Yeah, here we go. The Savior series of quests, this one. So we just need to do Mercenary here and we'll get this this trophy here. You place this trophy in your house and you get 20 heroic stamina and 45 AC. So that alone seems like it's kind of worth it, right? That's like a, it's like a really good AUG, I think, stat wise that you can just have on and you activate it via the uh, trophy here and it just gives you stats. And I think you can have a certain amount of trophies activated at once and then if you put it in the guild hall like guild trophies that you get from guild from the raids and stuff it's more stats so definitely something that i haven't done on anybody else on my other characters i never even realized that it was a thing oh a cloak of serenity are you an upgrade no you are not an upgrade for me who that's like Oh, I'm going to go Bard, I think, on this one. Why would I not go to her? Oh, I already got it. All right, the Bard already has one. Congrats, Getka. Got a new cloak. Let's go ahead and put that on real quick before uh, we forget. So she's wearing an enchanted bearskin cloak, which is 1,300 HP. She has no AUG, so... That's a pretty good upgrade for her. The hell is that? Wormtooth Matron. It looks way bigger than it actually is. All right, come on down. Yeah, but something that like when I did my first six characters to, and I got them leveled up, I didn't uh, focus on doing what I really needed to do and that was like get augs and finish these quests I just got to the end and I was like okay max AA now and I missed out on a lot of stuff that I think I I needed to do that I didn't do and I'm hoping to fix some of those mistakes <laughs> uh with these uh with these all these characters I'm doing now did we kill it that was weird. All right, let's get this thing. I guess they don't assist because that one's over there just like walking right through us. So that's kind of cool to know. All right, 9%. So we need four more of these and then uh, we'll continue in here and get these crag things. I think there's 20 mobs we got to kill over there. So it's not absolutely terrible, but not exactly uh great all right can we grab you? matron yeah get over here all right slow her but uh yeah so hoping to get better in those i'm i'm, I'm strongly fig trying to figure out the the voxel situation getting all that going and then uh i'm hoping to have uh so I'm it's today. So it's the 14th Friday after work here. And I'm hoping to have, I'll have an episode of 20 all the way until I think the fifth right now. And I'm hoping to have uh, a whole nother month of 20. Uh, I'm trying to calculate where, where we'll end up. We should be, we should be like one, 105 by the end of by the end of May 105 plus and that kind of puts us pretty good my goal is to get 120 before before uh, uh, December uh, December is when the new expansion comes out but I'd like to get it bef way before that uh, so I can start focusing on AAs and stuff like that and uh, doing uh, I'm going to be doing the hunting hunters of night of shadows 
Uh, I'm going to do all that and whatnot too. So there we go. Another quest done. What was that one called? The worm tooth. So let's get the next one. So I'm hoping to do, uh, to do that, but I don't know. <laughs> I just don't know. Okay. Uh, a vendor beak. I don't think this is on the list here. We'll see. But I think if I could do it before, cause I, I usually take off like the whole month of December for the most part from work. So if I have enough leave to do that again, I probably will. And then, uh, I'll be able to make more videos during that time. And uh, hopefully it's all like whatever the new expansion is. And then we will we will be going backwards at sometimes too. Because we, we do have to get all those hero vitality and hero uh whatever those other ones are. Resolution, fortitude. So we're gonna have to go get all of those anyway, just to be good to go. And then uh I think when I get to that point I'm gonna try to find a uh a guild that does raids. See if I can get into it. Huh. <laughs> Probably doing it as a monk, probably a bad idea, but uh, uh, at the same time I'm leveling uh, to Wani, 120 plus, I'm going to probably do it. Like, I'm going to probably throw no regard into this uh, tr trio here and uh, kind of do no regard with this so I can keep him leveled up. This one's 99. Interesting. But... Uh, so, and we might add the fourth character, and that's going to be a little tricky to do, honestly. Because uh, Necros don't... I haven't I haven't had a good experience boxing Gnome Regard with other characters, unless I play Gnome Regard as the main character. It's just so much work trying to keep all the dots and stuff on there and all that. I, I might be able to uh, figure it out. So it's actually fun for me. Alright, we need a few more here. Let's get this cub. These things are just melting, which is great. But that's that's kind of my long-term plan. <laughs> so, there's a lot to go between here and there. Um, I think if we can get to 106, we'll be able to like standardize all the gear to uh, Conflagrant, which is the crafting stuff from Ring of Scale. And I already have like most of it made for these three characters uh, and all that stuff. That was part of something I said I was going to do all along <laughs> uh, is to give them conflagrant gear when it, the time was right. I think I'm just missing like a few jewelry pieces to continue that. But that is going to be a real level setter because right now we're, we have we have gear from... <laughs> What is it? House of Thule all the way up to Reign of Fear. And it's going to slowly keep going like that. And then, you know, I think Ketka being the, the last one I'm giving stuff to, for the most part, is going to have mostly House of Thule gear when we get to 120 uh, at the current rate, unless I get better stuff. So there's a lot of, uh, a lot of that. Why did that pop up? I don't even know. So that'll, you know, a nice level setting kind of thing to make sure we uh, all have gear at, at that point. And then my thoughts on, uh, you know, 105 plus, right? I think we can do Frontier Mountains. I don't think it'll be too big a de deal. We should be able to get 110 there. Um, maybe over there, <laughs> like... Uh, I did over there at, uh, what level was it? I think 105 to 110 on my uh, first group I played through. I think that was what level I brought them, brought them there. It was between there and Frontier Mountains. I, was, I kept pushing and pushing because I thought it would just be a better experience in the next level zone, but it really wasn't. And uh, that's something that... Uh, I'll have to experiment with like I think Tawani is going to be strong enough to be able to do more than I was able to with that group I had because I was, I wasn't really doing it very well I 
think uh, the amount of damage that she does is going to outset, offset everything that we need to worry about. At least that's my thought process right now. Who knows how this is going to actually end up. But then uh, we'll do the all the TOV questing. Uh, at, at some point, I'm going to have to do the Epic 2.0s. That's going to take a little time to do. Because uh, I'll, I'll be making videos because I've never done the Bard 2.0 or the Shaman 2.0. I did the Shaman 1.5, but I don't think I ever finished the video for it. So it's uh, I think I released that one or not. I can't remember, but I'm going to redo those and uh, I'm going to make videos for all of them, right? <laughs> and uh, I think it'll go pretty well. All right. So one more of these guys. No. Yeah, one more of these guys. He's done. Get a collectible on the ground here. No, we don't need these. We need these guys right here. All right. Let's grab you. What are these called? Planeskeeper? So we need eight of these. Not bad. It's going to be quite a long episode. <laughs> but we should be able to knock this completely out, right? Uh, if we go back up to... Quest. Mercenary, right? Yeah, we're almost done. Well, there's a follow-up quest. Uh, Master Hunter Challenge, but... I don't know what that one is, but we'll get 10 AA out of this, so that's, that's nothing to laugh at. I think there's one over here. No, it's one of those. Just try not to get zerged by a bunch of them. There we go. What are we at here? We're at 13%, so it's not too bad, I guess. We'll just eventually grind through it. I'm hoping, uh, I'm hoping there's another experience weekend soon. Uh, I didn't really take advantage of the last one very well. Uh, I don't want you. I want you. This one's yellow. Interesting how some are yellow and some are not. You don't usually don't see that kind of variance in these things. go. Perfect. He's only hitting for 4k, but it sounds like he's hitting me for like 10k. <laughs> like the way those crunches go, it's kind of weird. Oh, hey. Hello. Earth Force. Jeez. I hate how it jacks the camera up like that. All right, Aoi Mez, where's the one I'm going to kill? This one. All right, Aoi Mez worked. <laughs> Jeez. I'm surprised it worked, truth be told. I don't even know what the level cap is on that thing. You don't get the new one until 100, so it's like every five levels. Almost had a little bit of excitement there. Go. All right, one down. All right, switch to single target Mez. And let's see here. I think we're good. <laughs> we covered from that pretty well. Uh, I think we're going to push it over there into that thing, though, so that's fine. I'll just mess another one. There we go. Get you singing a normal song. Oh, and nope. You're gonna go to there. Mezzed another one. So it's free poles, right? Not a big deal. Go, another one down. Normal singing and melee. Perfect. I love my mouse. <laughs> I love this MMO mouse, man. Oh, 
I should do a video just on the mouse. Alright. There we go. Perfect. Alright. Um over there. These ones are a different color. This one. It's like red. Those are yellow. <laughs> cool mobs. Like, uh, I guess they're all from the Alaris uh, expansion. Maybe earlier. They're cool looking. They're like, overly extended uh, anteaters or something. Alright. And we only need one more of these guys. Oh, and we completed Creatures of the Crag. Go ahead and select that on all these guys. 0.6, not bad. 0.6 on her, not bad at all. So, uh, what do we need to do next? Uh, we did this area, we did this area. Stone coats. Those are stone coats. Um, hmm. Oh, there's some down here we could kill. Alright, so I'm going to run to the, the bottom part of the zone real quick. I'm not going to have that on the recording, but I'm going to run down there real quick. Alright, we're down here in the southern part of the zone now at the uh, Corruptions End area. So we just pull these, uh, pull these guys like off the coast here, I think. There we go. Coral spines. Looks like the same mob that we just fought. With a little bit different uh, look. But we just need uh, 15 down here. And then we go over to this area and kill... Looks like 10. I think. I don't know. It looks like 10. Plus one elder. And then wyverns. Wherever those are. Might be over here. We'll have to do some uh, looking. There we go. And yeah, I think that'll frost coats. Did I see those up here? Those are stone coats. There's pyre pyre beak. That's probably the ripens. Oh, another breastplate. Look at that thing. Yeah, I got one of those in the other zone. I'm going to roll that one out, but I'm just going to hand it off to uh, Keke because I think the bard already has it. So the random armor does drop quite a bit. I'm hoping I get as lucky when we get to the other zones and get uh, the ultra rare uh, weapons. Because <laughs> those will really help out on getting getting through the content a little faster like uh the ultra rare, rare weapons like uh, blood soaked ice encrusted they're like raid quality items that drop off random mobs in the expansion so it's really nice i think it's like tier one raid quality so hopefully we can get a hold of something like that i didn't see a single one drop in any of my time in uh uh, COV or TOL on my other characters. Uh, and then, uh, I think randomly I was running Necro, uh, Nomicard through one of the, uh, zones and I got the Ice Encrusted, uh, Monk Staff. And I think I got an Ice Encrusted, uh, uh, Shaman Staff, but I sold it to, uh, like on a Ben Bazaar because I wasn't thinking. Uh, I think I just, like, randomly sent all my stuff to my trade mules and then I just put it on a on a trader without even thinking about it undercutting anything else that was there there we go all right what do we look at 16 percent we need 10 more of these this is this is going pretty easy I think for these guys 
So I think the wyver wyverns are like right here. It's just hard to see with the way the map. The map has the different heights and stuff. Then we'll go down here. And maybe up here is where we need to go to. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Blighted Prowler. I don't think you're on my list, buddy. Oh, we'll see. All right, you solo pull, though. Come on, Bard. Get in the right position. Oh, you know what I didn't do? I didn't shrink these guys. There we go. That always helps. I think he counted. I, I, didn't, I didn't look. Yeah, it says updated, so... But we'll get this, these all knocked out here, uh, hopefully pretty soon. And, uh, depending on how long the video is, uh, we'll do the Master Hunter maybe as a different one. And I do have the Fear Begins at Home quest, so maybe I'll do that one in another video too. And maybe co Coveted Rubbish. I don't, I don't know where that one's at. It's not one of the ones that I have right now. But I did get the other one. It's from the guy from the jump pile over here. Uh, the caller. He wants you to go into the Undercity and kill people. <laughs> so I just haven't done it yet. So there's one other quest somewhere around here that we don't have. Uh, there's a whole quest line here we might pick up and do. Uh, I found it by the, going through this. And I'll show this one real quick. Missions? No, quests. Here we go. All the way at the bottom, I think it was. No. Progression? General. Yeah, the, the Crystal Circle Builder. So getting all the faction with the Crystal Circles, right? You get a ring that teleports you to Shard's Landing. Or you get an AUG with 40 AC. Or, you know, those are your options, right? So, that's a pretty interesting quest. And then there's another one. I think it's this uh, Shard Experiences. Gives a charm with uh, 2008 points on it. So, that's another one we're going to want to do. Why is this guy not pulling? It's like some weird... Uh, I can't... See. It's like a, you have to see their feet or something like that. Like the, It's not like a direct line of sight. It's weird. But, uh, so there's some other quests in this zone that we can do. And the, this expansion also has, like, an epic weapon. Uh, but it requires doing all the missions and unlocking, like, everything in the, the higher tiers that we're just not, I don't think we're going to be able to do without a tank. And I don't even think using the mercenary tank would help at all because that thing was dying faster than I die. And I, I think if I come back... Get 110, 120. <laughs> I could probably, I could probably do them uh, without any issue. So it might be worth doing just to you know, do them, right? But it's one of those things. It's just like if you don't have the right composition of your group, you're not going to have a good time on some of these things. And, uh, unfortunately, that's just how it is. I like Monk. I think it's a fun class. Um, I will have a Shadow Knight at some point. A new one. Uh, I wish I could move characters from accounts. That would like solve a lot of my problems. So if I could just move my all my characters from all the accounts I don't want to pay for anymore. <laughs> I could uh I'd, I could have a full army on all these. Here we go. And they're like all unusable because they all have prestige gear on for the ones that haven't like sold all their stuff. So you can't use prestige gear unless you have a, a membership, right? So it's kind of frustrating. And the augs are all prestige too. <laughs> like 
I think the only one that I have like any kind of non prestige gear on is my 120 rogue and she's still missing like half her gear because I couldn't uh I didn't have enough armor tokens or whatever it was to finish hers out before I gave up on trying to do that uh, my goal was to get the the, the 120 rogue to a point where she could go and do the TBM missions uh, and try to farm up like the the uh, hogs that are not prestige. All right, we finished corrupted packs. That one's done. There we go. Uh, so. Let's go this way and make our way. I think the wyverns are like right outside this little room area, like this school valley. Um, I guess it's a, oh, right here. All right, <laughs> where are we at? All right, they're right here. Oh, this one hit me for 9,300. Jeez. Alrighty. Does that count for anything? I counted for that. So we need 15 of these these lucky guys. Oh jeez. Bard stance. Quickly mend. Alright. Um where's the bard? She's like not in my sight. There she is. Ah, I faint death. Come on, what are you doing? I don't know what I'm... I'm, like, just hitting random buttons now. I don't know what I did. <laughs> uh, I switched targets. I didn't want to do that. Alright, this one over here. Jeez, this is, like... Talking and playing the game is, uh... Is where the challenge lies. I'll tell you that. And uh, that's probably why I mess up so many times. Because I get carried away. But I've never claimed to be the best. And I am not, so I don't really care. I'm very lazy when it comes to doing this stuff. I don't even refresh buffs half the time. There we go. And anyone who's grouped with me knows that you have to ask for a buff if you want it. Because I am... I am, uh... Too lazy to re keep track of timers. And I've, I've grouped with people who are, like, really good at that kind of stuff. And it's... It's not me. Where, why are you guys down here? Oh, something named is up. I see it on tracking. Where the hell did you guys go? Jeez. All right, we got a named. Uh, we're gonna try to get it here in a second. Cobalt, it was the name. Cobalt is like over here. Do these things con aggressive? Alright, apprehensive. Matriarch. Doing things fast is impossible with boxes. Matriarch. All right, where the hell is this thing? Tracking. Cobalt. Cobalt is behind you. Straight ahead.
I have no idea what I'm looking for. Heading to the left. Get one of these guys. Those are threatening. To the right, so... Ah, I was too slow. This guy beat me to it. Okay, this guy go. Chanter. I'm trying to see what he's running. Shaman, I think the Ixar. Shadow Knight. Some kind of uh something there. That's some kind of tank. I'm gonna say warrior maybe. Yeah, this guy's like chain casting. Jeez. They pulled a lot of mobs. So that's that's why you that's why you have a tank. You can tank them. <laughs> you can actually uh, you can actually tank multiple mobs. This one, she is getting pretty low there. Forty percent. Thing's gonna die. There we go. Yeah. Well, there's a named, yeah, quite suspicious of uh, that. All right, let's uh, let's go back to what we were doing. Wyverns over here. Yeah, almost had a named, I guess. I guess they're camping it, so probably would not have gotten it anyway. All right, back over in this general area. Uh, we might have killed them all over here, though. Alright, let's just go over to the hyena place. Hopefully that guy, like, gets lost. So we can do that area next. Only need ten more of those. I don't know what the frost coats are. Like... I wish I do. Alright. So right in here, all right, so we need quite a few here. All right, so we need 10 wilds, uh, two planes. Wow, like I just disappeared. I don't know what happened there. All right, here's two elders. We only need one of these, but good. Oh, hello. Um, Yeah, thank you. That was... A significant amount of damage. I like that Mend is like a 20 second recast or something like that. It is so nice that it's uh, so quick and it's like a complete heal. It's so nice. Alright, get that on there. Alright, we need... Pair, so we should be able to get that soon. Oh, these things are what is going on. They're just like melting there at the last second. I don't see anything that's uh there's a wild. I don't see like finishing blow or anything like that. What? <laughs> All right, that just seemed like it was too soon. Uh, two of them. All right, we're good. These ones are significantly easier. I think they're relatively weak as to what it is. These ones are marked relatively weak, so they're not any kind of challenge. There we go. Grab all of these. Twenty percent. So we might hit ninety-nine. So we might hit a hundred before I'm uh, my anticipation. So that's gonna be uh, that's gonna be kind of nice, actually. All 
And oh, we got a third. Alright. I'm gonna just let this one play out and see what happens here. No one's taking any damage, so I'm like, do I do I do anything? I don't think so. I think the healers can uh, take care of themselves. There we go. All right, we need one more of those plain towns and then uh, four more of those. So I'm not pulling that one. There's a wild. This should be pretty easy. Go. Got him. <laughs> They're in like zero experience. Um uh, yeah, let's just go right here. See how many we get. Cause they just they absolutely just melt, so send some pussyfooting around on these ones. All right. Almost got him. All right, it's the last one of these. That guy just came like charging at us. Like, do you see that? And I don't even see him. I didn't even see him beforehand. <laughs> All right, and all right, let's get this last guy. See if we can find him. Oh, there's one. That looks like a situation of death that I'm not going to worry about right now. I can't tell if these things are aggressive or not. Doesn't look like it. Dubious. All right, so. So let's do this. Let's click. Click him. We're gonna echo him. And we're gonna pull him. That worked so well. Absolutely so well. I'm I'm actually shocked that uh, that worked. Alright, so we need frost coats. I'm I'm gonna have to think they're over here. Uh that's the only thing I could think of. All right, that one is done. So I'm gonna go find the frost coats and see if the uh, worms or uh, the wyverns are uh, available. And if they are, we're gonna kill those. All right, yeah, I was right. The frost coats are where the stone coats are. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, make our way through these. We need uh, ten of these, so it shouldn't be too long. That group was still over at the wyverns. So we'll make our way back over there after this, and that'll knock out uh, most of the mercenary. Uh, I think that'll be enough for this episode anyway, so just kind of go through here. Maybe we'll get a named. Uh, I don't think we will, but uh, unless they're like yellow now, but I don't think they are. Roscoat Patriarch. Eighty nine hundred. Man. That is quite a hit, honestly. There we go. Let's get some uh slow procs going again. These ones are actually more experienced, you know, it's not two point three. I don't know if it was just because that guy might have been yellow or something, but more experience is welcome. So we're at 22%. We should be uh, probably about 40% when we're done with this quest or this achievement line. And then uh, we should get another 20 or 30% from the next one in Eastern Waste and uh, whatever other quests I pick up along the way. There we go. There we 
go. Really? Oh, good. I was like, is that all? I mean, that was like not enough mobs. All right, we're going to earth force this one. Just so we don't have to mess it or anything like that. Alright, what is this? A Braxy Tenderloin. Can be used in quests. It's lore, so I'll go ahead and roll it. Because <laughs> I only need one. I don't know what the quest is, but we'll look. Maybe look it up later. There we go. Come on. Let's get this one. So we just need four more, so. Almost done. And just help the healer. I should probably block group heal from the clerics. Now that I'm thinking about it. I think it's probably preventing my shaman from uh, getting some stuff done. Now that I think about it. I, I used to block all the all the heal spells except for the direct ones. And uh, I probably still have them blocked, honestly. But I don't I think I don't think I've been keeping up with that. All right, two more. Oh, come on. Like, sometimes I don't get stunned, I, I avoid it, and then sometimes I do. Like, I don't know if monks get the full immune to stun thing at some point, like uh, warriors and uh, shadow knights and paladins get. I think uh, shamans get some kind of form of that. I was looking at the AAs, but again, too lazy to care beyond that since my shaman, my shaman's taking damage, something's gone wrong. There we go. And this will finish the frost coats. There we go. Done. And that is 0.4% uh, experience. Not bad. Alright, so now we can go back over to the wyvern area. Alright, here is a wyvern. Let's go ahead and pull these ones. Doesn't look like that group is pulling this, these ones over here, so. We only need five, so it should go pretty quick. And Banescale Serpent is up. I almost feel like running over there and getting him. Alright, there is the Banescale Serpent. I went ahead and went over here and grabbed him. Uh, I got the pest instead. My mistake. There we go. I can kill these real quick. They are relatively weak. Go. That's why I couldn't target him. He's like in the snake. There we go. I'm gonna go ahead and pull him. Oh my god, you stupid, stupid mercenary. Alright, let's just kill this thing real quick. Yeah, I'm not... It's a yellow rare, uh, so I'm not too concerned about it, but... Uh, I'm just gonna do like a heal on it. I don't think I'll need anything else. I'm not even. I don't even have to think it. There we go. Pretty easy rare. All right, we got the pauldrons. I'm gonna go ahead and send those to me. And we got a fear touched bracer also. Um. 
I'll have to send that to me. I think we can sell that one. All right. Did any other name come up before we go back to the wyverns? I just realized that they're uh, they're gonna be yellow, so uh, looking for red only was uh, a mistake. All right, we're back over here at the wyverns. We just need a few more to kill, so we should go quick. And we'll be done with uh, most of this mercenary quest, I believe. Uh, quest, mercenary. So that'll knock out that one. Then we just have to do the follow-up challenge. And then the other three. So those will be other videos. Uh, I, don't, I don't even know what the challenge entails. I didn't even look it up. <laughs> to see if it was uh, going to be something fun to do or not. But this this really knocks out most of the mercenary quests. Got us about to twenty, you know, twenty six percent of the level. So that's you know not that bad really, because we started this uh, started this video with uh, what ninety nine point nine in uh, the last level. So let's get uh, what is it? Yeah, we're gonna have to kill all these ones over here. See if I can get you to actually melee these things. Nope, not the right angle, I don't think. Yeah, I keep looking for a named. Let's see here. Let's get these solo ones first, because... I don't, I don't know if I can uh, echo these, those guys. What is Shaman? Shaman doesn't have anything on that one. That might be a beneficial thing to have. There we go. Yeah, these things just really melt. Which is good, honestly. Uh, 26%. What are you at? Where did that guy come from? Alright, whatever. Oh, there's some up there, too. Yeah, I miss taunt. <laughs> I miss playing a tank, honestly. Uh... Give up a lot of control for a lot of damage. I give you. A, a, I prefer the control. I think. There we go. What do we got going on up here? We got uh, this guy. So we three more of these. Three more, and we are done de done done This will be two. Alright, let's go over here. I'm going to speed discipline, see how fast he dies. If he dies any faster at all. I mean, it does spam a lot more. Like... Definitely looks a lot faster. Wow. Lost uh, Master's Aura, or we didn't have it this whole time. There we go. And they are in range. Perfect. And this will be uh, the last Wyvern. Perfect. Works out because we are out of mana. <laughs> I mean, uh, out of endurance. I have to go rest. There we go. All right. So that concludes this episode. And we did most of the mercenary. Uh, there's a few more to do. Uh, and we will do those another time. But uh, definitely uh, kind of, you know, I went over a lot of stuff in this episode and talked about a lot of things. So that's kind of the future of the series and where we're going to be going with it all. But uh, hopefully... Uh, Hopefully it's still fun and uh, it'll be good. All right. Uh, thank you guys very much for watching and have a fantastic day.